Welcome to Lesson 4. In this lesson we will learn something of the concepts of work, power, energy, and torque, and how to solve some problems involving each. Machines transfer input energy, or work done on the machine, to output energy, or work done by the machine. For example, the chemical energy in gasoline is converted in the internal combustion engine into mechanical energy which can then do work. Work is accomplished when an object is displaced some distance against a resistive force, for example gravity. The distance only counts if it is in the direction of the force you apply. Regardless of the amount of force being applied, if the object to which the force is applied is not displaced some distance due to that force, then no work is done. To find the amount of work being done, multiply the force by the distance the object was displaced as a result of that force. In the metric system, the unit of work is the joule. A joule is the amount of work done by a force of one newton when it acts through a distance of one meter. In the metric system, mass rather than weight is typically specified. To find the weight in newtons of something whose mass is known, we use the following formula. Newtons equals mass in kilograms times the force due to gravity, where the force due to gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared. So in the metric system, we have a final formula. The work in joules is equal to the mass in kilograms times the force due to gravity times the distance the object was displaced in meters. For example, if we move 15 kilograms times 20 meters, we will have done 15 kilograms times 20 meters times 9.8 meters per second squared or 2,940 joules of work. In the English system, we have simply the work in foot-pounds equals the force or weight in pounds times the distance in feet. For example, if we move 25 pounds 30 feet, then we will have done 25 pounds times 30 feet or 750 foot-pounds of work. When the force being applied is not parallel to the displacement, such as when pulling a wagon with a rope, we must find the component of force that acts in the direction of displacement. To accomplish this, force must be multiplied by the cosine of the angle between the direction of displacement and the application of force. For problems where the force applied is not parallel to the displacement, the formula becomes work equals force times displacement times the cosine of theta, where theta is the angle between the direction of force is applied and the direction of displacement. If we apply 75 pounds of force at an angle of 30 degrees to a rope, Pulling a box 22 feet across the ground, how much work have we done? Our formula again, remember, is work equals force times displacement times the cosine of theta, where our force given is 75 pounds, our displacement is given is 22 feet, and theta is 30 degrees. Using our calculator, calculator we find that the cosine of theta is 0.8660. So therefore we have 75 pounds times 22 feet times 0 0.8660, or the total work done in this example is 1,428.9 foot-pounds. I recommend when doing these problems that we carry our cosine numbers out to four decimal places.
In calculating the work done on moving an object, it is also necessary to calculate the amount of resistance due to friction. There are three types of friction. The first type of friction is static friction, the resistance to getting an object moving. It is affected by the nature of the surfaces resting against each other. Overcoming static friction is why it takes more force to get an object moving from a stationary position. Once moving, it takes less force to keep it moving. Sliding friction is the resistance to motion offered by an object sliding over a surface. And rolling friction is usually less than sliding friction. Wheels and bearings are two examples where friction is reduced by replacing some sliding friction with rolling friction. Power is a measure of how quickly work can be done. In the metric system, power is measured in watts or kilowatts, where one kilowatt equals 1,000 watts. In the English system, horsepower is often measured in foot-pounds or in horsepower. One horsepower equals 0.746 kilowatts. One kilowatt equals 1.341 horsepower. Power can also be defined as the time rate of doing work. Horsepower is the amount of power required to do 33,000 foot-pounds of work in one minute or 550 foot-pounds of work in one second. The electrical unit of measure for horsepower is the watt. One horsepower is equal to 746 watts. The formula for determining the amount of power needed is force times distance divided by time. The formulas for determining the needed horsepower are horsepower equals the weight or force in pounds times the distance in feet divided by minutes divided by 33,000 or the weight or force in pounds multiplied by the distance in feet divided by seconds divided by 550. Or said another way, it takes one horsepower to raise 550 pounds one foot in one second. In the metric system, the unit of power is the watt. One watt equals one joule per second. Energy is a measure of how long we can sustain the output of power, or how much work we can do. Power is the rate at which we can do the work. There are two kinds of energy, potential energy and kinetic energy. A change in energy is equal to the work done, and therefore energy is expressed in the same terms used to express work. Potential energy is energy waiting to be converted into power. Potential energy may be classified into three groups. One, that due to position, for example the boulder on top of a hill, that possesses potential energy in terms of its mass and its height above the ground. Two, that energy due to distortion of an elastic body, such as a rubber band or a spring. And three, that which produces work through chemical reaction, for example, gasoline. The amount of potential energy possessed by an elevated weight may be determined by the equation potential energy equals weight times the height. Some common units of energy are the newton meter, the joule, the calorie, kilowatt hours, 
foot-pounds and the British Thermal Unit or BTU. The most common forms of energy are heat. Heat is the vibration and movement of the atoms and molecules within substances. As an object is heated up, its atoms and molecules move and collide faster. Geothermal energy is the thermal energy in the Earth. Mechanical energy is stored in objects by tension. Compressed springs and stretched rubber bands are examples of stored mechanical energy. Electrical energy can be stored in a battery. Chemical energy is stored in the bonds of atoms and molecules. Biomass, petroleum, natural gas, and coal are examples of stored chemical energy. These forms of energy can be readily transformed into one of the other forms, for example, chemical energy of gasoline into mechanical energy. Torque is the tendency of a force to rotate an object about an axis. Even if the object did not move, there is still torque. The amount of torque is equal to the amount of force being applied, multiplied by the distance between the application of force and the axis of rotation. The formula for torque is torque equals force times distance. If we apply 25 pounds of force to a wrench 8 inches from the center of a nut, we have torque equals 25 pounds times 8 inches, or torque equals 200 inch-pounds. 